Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to sync speed ramp with a song. This is a part 2 of the previous tutorial and this one is with a bit deep explanation. Before we begin, check how it looks like when you sync the speed ramp with a song. Now let's begin. First of all we need to mark the beat drops of a song. Let's select the song layer and double press on L button to open a waveform. Now we are able to see all beats clearly and let's simply mark them. To mark the beat, simply scroll to the beat drop and press star on your keyboard. Once we have all beats marked, we can begin making a speed ramp. Right click on your clip, go to time and select enable time remapping. Make sure you are at the first beat drop and then begin moving this time forward to choose the start of your video. Once you are happy with the beginning of the clip, scroll to the next beat drop and then begin moving this time forward again. In my case I will stop here, now let's scroll to another beat drop again and then move that time forward one more time. Let's jump to another beat drop and now I want my video to be reversed from that beat, so, let's move the time backward. Scroll to another beat drop and I will reverse it here as well. Finally let's jump to the last beat drop and let's move the time backward again until you are happy with it. Note, you can move the time forward for the last keyframe, it depends on you what type of speed ramp you want. Once we have all keyframes created here, we can begin adjusting the curve in graph editor, but first select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now go to graph editor, right click here and select, edit value graph. First of all we need to speed up the beginning of the video, so, move the first handle up like that. Now we need to speed up the video at the second keyframe, grab that handle and move it down. Then grab another handle and move it up to speed up again. And for this one, we have a reversed keyframes, so, make sure to move that handle all the way left like this. Then select another handle and move it all the way right. From here video goes normally forward again, so, move that handle up like this to speed it up after the reverse. Then move that one all the way down now. That another one move up. The next handle down and the last one drag up. Let's quickly check the speed ramp and see if we need to smoothen anything. In my case my video goes so harsh from this moment, so, I will smoothen the curve by moving this handles until the curve looks too smooth. Let's check it again. That one is fixed and now I don't like that part of my video, so, let's smoothen it as well. Let's check it again. Nice, now everything looks perfect and amazing to me. Once you are done with the curve, make sure to enable frame blending on that layer. Click here twice until you see an arrow. Let's close the graph editor and now we have to stabilize the speed ramp, but first make sure to pre-compose that layer. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Scroll to the beginning of that layer and then click on stabilize motion. Make that track point slightly bigger and then move it on a part you want to lock on, in my case it's the wheel. Now click on options and make sure to check adapt feature on every frame and then hit OK. Now click on tracking forward button and let's wait until it's done. Once analyzing is done, click on apply and then hit OK. Now let's close tracking window and correct position of the wheel in my case. As I have already said, I want to lock on the wheel when I was stabilizing and I want the wheel to be centered. To make sure that the wheel is centered properly, we can enable proportional grid lines from here. And here it shows us the very center of the screen and now I can drag my video and center the wheel. It's now centered, but now we have to fix the black edges. To fix it, we have two options, first is a motion tile effect. Let's check mirror edges and then change output width and height to 200. Black edges are gone, but it creates mirror-like effect and I don't like it at all. Let's delete that effect and let me show you another solution. Press S on your keyboard and scale the video until edges are fixed. You won't lose the quality by slightly scaling the video and I always use this method for my Instagram reels. Once you have scaled, the center will mess up, so, make sure to recenter the video again and you are done. As you can see the wheel is locked on in the center of the screen and it looks so amazing. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.